Hey yo, my Blosky people, and today I am gonna show you this, um, this custom sand temple I made. Um, it's a lot like the normal sand temple in ways that it is just extra build off of the normal temple. And I'll lead you through. Let me just check something real quick. Um, because the mod, yep, yep. Put that on peaceful because mobs don't spawn on peaceful and it's easy for like clearing out stuff. And yeah. So this is the front of the temple. Obviously it has some vines and stuff. He, this guy has some brand new eyeballs and a crown. Nothing too interesting in the front, just kind of looks good. But inside is the actual, um, the actual like stuff. The first one you walk inside is a tripwire. It summons some worshippers, I'd like to say. Because this is, is like a temple, kind of. Just... It's always fun to do that. And now I'm gonna get rid of that. Uh, bro. Okay, uh, time to clear these out. Because that was annoying. There we go. Okay, so now those are cleared out. Now we have a chest in the middle of the room. We start. Oh no! Mm, you'll have to fight a mini boss. There's two skeletons that spawn over here, and then one big wither skeleton in the middle. You're not supposed to get wither skeletons this early in the game, but I don't care. And but and then inside, once you beat all of them, there is some okay loot. And after you're done, you're gonna say, well, what about under you? Well, under you is this little room where you'll, like, prepare yourself and realize, oh, it's dark. I should probably get some, like, torches or something. Because you're going to need torches for what's for what comes up next. You drop into the final room. This final room is like a tomb, kind of. This is like the Pharaoh's tomb. I'll drink a, um, one of these. This is pretty dark. And then once you have this, there's this. Oh, but I can't get to it. So what you can do. And then you'd trigger the final boss fight, which is two evokers. These two evokers are guarding the, the king's temple. And they'll just kind of sit there and shoot you with their magical beans. And then when you defeat those, that would basically be the last, um... The low odds, what? I, I would put it to peaceful. Oh, apparently these don't go away in peaceful. You know what, whatever, I'm fine. Okay. Anyway, when that's done, then you break this. Shut up. Shut up. And, you figure, and you'd find the treasure. This is just placeholder treasure. You definitely not find one, uh, two, four, three stacks of gold blocks. This is just like a placeholder, cause I can't think of anything very good to put in there. Maybe make like a custom item or something. I'm not sure. And then when you're done, you build back up here and leave the temple. But there's one more thing in this temple. Um, if you, what you do to access it is you'd have to go in one of these. It doesn't matter what one you go in. I'll go in this one. And then you enter this door. When you enter this door, it also enters another dark room and with one chest in it. And then if you open the chest, you can see there's nothing very much in it. And you also get poisoned, which does not help with the um, other challenges. So this is one of the traps in here because there are a lot of mobs that spawn, which also, which kind of traps. This is the actually, the only actual trap. For redstone, um, there isn't very much redstone. Um, there's just kind of the, there's the trip wire here. There's the pressure plate down here. And then there's the trap chests. What, um, what's inside here? It's not very much. Um, it just, um, 
a couple of pieces of redstone with some um redstone comparators because trap chests really give out only like enough red uh, enough power to power a single redstone dust and then you need comparators to go off of it like this and then un and then there's like carpet with stuff under it like skeletons there's only a single egg, though, so then if you open the chest after defeating the monsters, you can successfully grab everything in there without getting attacked again. And yeah, that is about it for this. This took, um, about two days to make, and I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. Um, I was gonna upload this before, but then I accidentally deleted it instead of making a copy. I don't know how, but I'm stupid, that's how. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty happy that how this turned out. It's pretty nice in my opinion. Yeah. Please do a liking, do a subscriptions, do a whatever. Goodbye.